Now it's time for the big boy, the cross. The cross is a knockout punch. As you move a lot of mass, you shift your body weight. But it's easy to get spot for your opponent unless you know how to do it properly. So today I'm going to teach you the right technique to throw a powerful, not telegraphed cross. And I'm going to tell you the three most common mistakes that all beginners do. So you're going to avoid them. Plus a bonus stick in order to you to have a world-class cross punch. You don't push your punch, you throw your punch. Imagine you have a weight and you have to throw the weight. Use your body. Imagine your hand is an iron ball and your arm is a chain. So your hand is strong, your arm is loose. So from here, you want to turn your body and pop the shoulder so that you're going to stand the chain and throw the ball. Use this visualization when you punch and then we are ready for the step-by-step -step technique. All right, first thing first, take a good stance as you learned in the previous video. One, turn your body. Two, stand your arm. Three, rotate the punch. Four, back in a fighting stance. One, turn the body. Now you shift the body weight on the front foot. You feel the tension in between the legs. Two, extend your arm. Three, rotate the punch. Four, back in the fighting stance. Check that your other hand is always on your cheek. Three most common mistakes that all beginners do. First mistake, punching with the hands. So you see a lot of beginners, they don't fully rotate the hip. So the hip doesn't rotate and you don't have the power if you don't rotate the hip. Make sure your hip rotate and 90 degrees. Second mistake, and check it for the height of your knee. A lot of beginners, they turn the hip, but they don't turn the foot. So the foot stay here, and the leg rotate around the knee. That's very bad for your knee. So I want to see you stay on the ball of the foot, and the foot is rotating, so that the knee is aligned with the foot. The knee is aligned with the toes. Third mistake, drop in the other hand. You want to protect your face, so while you're punching, the shoulder is protecting your face, this hand is protecting your face. Bonus, all right, check this out. What punch can you spot easily? This one or this one? Or do it again. This one or this one? So what's the difference? The difference is your elbow. The elbow has to come straight following the end and then you rotate at the very end. The time that you rotate is when you're almost making the contact. If you leave the elbow too early, you're gonna show you're gonna punch. So you wanna go nice and straight. So make sure when you practice, if you don't have a target, visualize your target, come straight and at the end you turn the punch. This little thing is gonna have a huge difference. Once you manage this technique with the blueprint we gave you on the previous video, start moving. I want three, three minutes round. You can do it on a bag or you can do it with shadow boxing. Practice, move, stop, cross. Move, cross. Move, cross, visualize the target. Three minutes with that. Record yourself, check the two videos and build up a great cross. Now that you know how to throw the big boy, you have to learn how to set it up, otherwise it's unuseful. So make sure you watch this video.